joining me today. I'm Jay Sicht, Managing Editor with ABRN Magazine. And we're going to talk today about the Women's Industry Network, also known as WIN. Uh, its mission is to support and enhance the role of women in the collision repair industry, promoting education, professional advancement, and networking. Joining us today, I have Jenny Anderson. She's past chair and director of sales for Integral. And also with us today, Jessica Robb. She is the sponsorship chair for WIN and also distribution program manager at Accident Bell Coatings. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much. I wonder um, either one of you could start, but could you tell us a little bit about what is WIN's mission besides what I kind of explained in the yeah, definitely. Um, I can kick us off. Um, so really, WIN's mission is focused on how we drive industry sustainability. And we do that through the development of women um, in our industry um, with education and connections. And so a lot of WIN's programming uh, is focused on driving our mission. And it's also why our sponsors are so valuable um, in terms of helping us with that overall mission. Uh, as part of that mission, it's obviously very important that when has uh, plenty of sponsorship or uh, robust sponsorship I wonder if we might talk a little bit about uh, why companies need to sponsor when i can take this one um so sponsoring when like jenny said um it really means that you're taking an active role in developing the talent pool of our industry. Um, we offer so many um, educational opportunities for students that are pursuing collision repair industry careers. Um, once involved in WIN, we make sure that these students maintain connections with women in the industry so they know that there are so many opportunities within the industry. Jessica, we've we've talked a little bit about um, the need for sponsorship. Can you can you tell us what uh, those sponsorship dollars are used for? Yeah, sure. Uh, sponsorship dollars are used to fund our scholarship program, our most influential women award, um, which is an award that honors women who have displayed excellence in the collision repair industry. They also fund our regional and local events as well as the annual conference. There are a number of benefits to our sponsoring organizations, um, one being complimentary memberships. So our sponsors can actually share those memberships within their organization, with their customers, or with their partners. Um, we also provide conference passes. So we have an annual conference that is very well attended, and that allows them to designate um, some women that they want to attend free of charge. Um, we really try to also recognize them in the industry. So recognizing that sponsorship through different social media platforms, through our website, um, and other sort of marketing collateral. Um, and then really through our WIN orientation kit. And the idea there is to help connect these sponsoring organizations with WIN's work. So helping them understand what our mission and vision is and how best to plug in to WIN. In addition with your personal association with WIN, your companies, Axon Nobel and Enterprise slash Integral, our lead sponsors, uh, what have your organizations gotten out of the WIN relationship? For Axon Nobel, being a longtime WIN sponsor is a complete source of pride within our organization. Um, one of the pillars of Axon Nobel is a culture of diversity and inclusion. So supporting women in the workplace is a fo focal point of that for us. Um, also, we've got so many customers in, uh, at both the body shop and distributor level that are members of WIN. So we're honored to be able to support an organization that's important to them. Yeah, very similar to what Jessica said, um, you know, Enterprise takes great pride in their partnership and support of WIN as an organization. Um, you know, I think personally for our employees, also again, the sort of the DEI focus is continuing to develop our females in the industry um, through their skill set and their ability to network and connect with other women. Um, it's been such an incredible experience, I will say, for our company um, to have that connection with WIN. And it's always interesting, right? You never know when you may need to tap into somebody into our industry. Um, and for as large as our industry is, it's quite small. And so it's really great to have those um, personal connections with um, other women in the organization. And how are sponsors recognized by WIN? 
Uh, they are recognized on our various social media platforms as well as our WIN website. And then we uh, definitely take the opportunity to thank them at any regional, local, or um, annual event like the annual conference that we have. I was able to attend that virtually last spring and, and I was really impressed with the robust um, schedule that you guys had. I wish I had time to, to attend the whole thing and in person, but it seemed like, you know, like it seemed like a something like a not a no miss, uh, can't miss event. Can you tell us a little more about that conference? Yeah, absolutely. So last year was our first ever hybrid event. So I'm really excited that you were able to attend a portion of that. Yeah. Um, and I would really say it's our, our major event of the year where we try to get as many women as possible and men in person to connect. Um, and so first and foremost, I think it's that opportunity to network with other females again in our industry. But it's also a great place to get a lot of that cutting edge um, education um, in terms of industry topics and things that are happening in the collision repair space. Um, so really to kind of sharpen your toolkit, we try to bring in a lot of different influential speakers and leaders too. Um, we have a really diverse membership base. And so we want to make sure that everybody that leaves that conference feels like they've left with improved skills um, so that they can really report back to their employers and other potential members, all of the great things that they've gotten from the conference. So, uh, you know, we highly encourage um, anybody that is able to, to attend our conference and uh, put a really a great deal of thought and effort into, um, you know, making sure it's a top-notch event. One thing I want to add that uh, stands out to me about the conference is that WIN really takes a lot of extra steps to make sure that new attendees are welcome in and kind of mentored by people who have been to conference before. So really nobody is a stranger there. And it's just um, the enthusiasm that's at the event is just unmatched. Can we talk about, um... What, what are the numbers? I mean, I was first aware of the organization over 20 years ago, and it, and it seems to me like it's just grown in, by leaps and bounds since then. Are, do you have any hard figures, any hard numbers to, is that stuff that we should talk about? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, our numbers always fluctuate. So we've got a lot of different membership drives, um, scholarship initiatives that help us uh, keep our member database flowing, if you will. But I would say at every any given time we have um, around 500 plus members um, that participate in WIN. So it's incredibly impressive. Personally, what have you, each of you taken away from your from the association as being WIN members? And how could uh, employees from sponsoring organizations similarly benefit? Um, for me personally, um, what I would encourage sponsoring organizations to do is make sure that their employees, if they are able to volunteer for committees um, and even uh, join the board, board of directors, uh, those are the two places where I learned the most. Um, I was able to work on projects and initiatives that are outside the scope of what I work on in my day-to-day -day job. So it was a great learning experience for me. And it also gave me a lot of face time with other women uh, that are in WIN, you know, outside the annual conference. Yeah, I, again, would echo a lot of what Jessica said. I think one of the things, again, on the enterprise side that we do is try to really plug in our women into committees, right? We want them to take uh, a lead role. We want them to be additive and find a lot of value. And so I think that WIN can help enrich the lives of their uh, our sponsors, female employees, again, through um, development and connection, the educational resources. Um, WIN does a really good job of trying to you know, curate content in ways that work best. Um, so whether that's, in t you know, attending a regional event or accessing, you know, a repository of educational resources, attending some of our webinars, um, there's just really a plethora of information that we want to make sure that, um, you know, our members can access. And so I think that's a huge benefit, you know, to our sponsors, in addition to, again, just building what I would consider your personal board of directors, right? Women that are either mentors or mentees um, and just really fostering those strong um, relationships. And, and Jessica, for how long are we looking at this, this drive for additional sponsorships? I mean, I'm sure you'll take new sponsors anytime throughout the year, but for how long are we gonna have this, this focus on that, this drive? So we kicked off our drive early October and really, like you said, we'll, we'll accept sponsorship at any time of the year, but really the focus is um, getting those sponsors locked in before May to make sure that they're recognized at the annual conference. Where can 
interested parties go to for more information? So if anybody does want to get additional information, um, we highly encourage you to check out our website. Um, it's the women's industry network dot site, S I T E slash Y M dot com. Um, but there's a lot of information. If you just Google women's industry network as well, it should get you there. Thank you for your time. And it's been a pleasure meeting you, even if it's been virtually. <laughs> you as well. You as well. Okay. Thanks.